Is going to culinary school worth it? So one of the questions that I always got when I was going through teaching students and mentoring students at the same time was, hey chef, was going to culinary school worth it? And overall, my experiences of going to culinary school was good. So I, to me, yes, it was. Now, there are other people that I'm going to mention later in this video that to them, culinary school wasn't worth it. But it was probably in a different genre. So to me, culinary school is worth it because of three things that I'm going to mention. Number one, did you actually work in the industry before even attempting or thinking about going to culinary school? And the reason why I ask this is because a lot of the students, you know, high school level, you know, so a lot of them probably got like starting jobs, you know, working in like fast food or fast casual, you know, some of them work front of the house. And to them, they don't know what fine dining is because of, you know, the, the places that they were working at or the community that they were working at. They didn't know what fine dining was. But it doesn't have to be all the fine dining. It could be really scratch cooking. So before I always advise them to work in the industry before you even think or consider going into culinary school. The number two reason why you should think if culinary school is worth it is do your research. There are so many culinary schools now in America and even around the world. Some of the most popular ones are CIA, the Culinary Institute of America, the Institute of Culinary Education, which used to be the French Institute, also in New York City, um, Arts Institute, and Johnson and Wales. They even have the Escoffier Academy in Texas, and so many others. The choice that I actually decided to go into culinary school was a two-year community college locally in New Orleans, Louisiana. And the school was Delgado Community College. I think one of the reasons why I actually chose that school is not because it was just cheaper. In essence, it was. It was like $2,500 a semester. And mind you, now this was 2006 when this was three years before the major recession in 2009. So, and I was making pretty decent money, probably because I had a little bit of experience and it was right after Hurricane Katrina. So I started looking for jobs that would take me, especially with uh, the recognition of a lot of the restaurants that I was working at. And more on the job, but another thing that I liked about going to culinary school, especially Delgado's model, was not only I'm getting a college degree, I'm getting uh, a initial level certification from a well-known organization called the American Culinary Federation, also known as ACF for short. And, you know, I got my surf safe certificate, which was, you know, saying that you can work safely and cleanly. And then there was other little minor things as well. But the most important thing that I got out of the whole thing was I was under a European style apprenticeship program. Now, this means you go to school roughly one day a week. It's a 12 hour day. And the other six days, you're working at least 35 hours a week, which will equate to about 2,000 hours a year and 4,000 hours in two years, which is the requirement to even consider for graduation or even receiving your degree or your certificate as well. So this was a very key thing for me. It forces me to learn and it forces me to go to work. Now, I don't want to say force. I think that's too harsh of a word. I think the, the word is you're, you're basically going to work while you're in the industry, which is, I think, one of the best things that I learned when I was going through the program. Now, New Orleans is obviously has a lot of great restaurants, and 
lot of great traditions and everything. And the, the final thing that I will mention, which is the third thing that I will tell you if you go, if culinary school is really worth it for you, is what are you planning to do with your experience when you, uh, while you're in culinary school? You know, do you have a plan? You know, I, I remember my first chef that, that I mentored under, Lazone Randolph at Brennan's restaurant, he asked me, what do you see yourself doing five to 10 years from now? And, you know, I told him, hey, I, I, I just want to work as, as much as I can, learn under some great chefs, learn some great technique, and eventually become, you know, a sous chef or, or, or a head chef. And, you know, chef was like, that's a great goal. And, you know, it took, he even told me that it took him many, many years. Like, he was one of the individuals that didn't have a college degree or a culinary arts degree. He started from all the way at the bottom, washing dishes, and eventually got promoted to a, you know, line cook, and then sous chef, and then eventually up to the executive chef level, and, you know, he's retired and everything. But the thing that I wanted to emphasize is that he told me that culinary education to him wasn't really worth it, but he understands why is it so important and worth it to to students these days, you know, because now, you know, things are changing now, right? The other thing is also, you know, I was getting paid pretty well. And for $13 an hour during 2006, you know, before the recession, right after Hurricane Trina, it was actually pretty good money. I was living with family. My pay, my tuition was paid for by the military for the, you know, with the GI Bill. So, Literally, before I even started even thinking about going to culinary school, my previous job where I was working at in Dallas, Texas, while I was evacuated, I was saving up money. Saving up money, of course, you know, there's some things too, but really saving up money because I knew at the goal was to go to culinary school as debt-free as possible. And that was one big thing that I really enjoyed about going into culinary school because I didn't have to really worry about paying debt. I just put my head down, work, you know, go to school and uh, graduate and bigger and better things for, you know, in, in the culinary world. And finally, uh, you know, this is kind of like part three, but this is three plus three and a half per se. And this is not only when you're trying to find out what you want to do, the thing I will tell you is when you go to culinary school is learn as much as you can while you're in school because they're yes they're teaching you basics but they're really teaching you a lot of applied things like for example organization working clean communicating with your teammates you know eventually learning to become a leader because once you become a chef it's not all about cooking it's learning to be a leader like mentor the next generation of chefs to get to where you need to be at so that really all you do is just fold your arms and then just direct traffic. Like, I'm, like I'll give you a great example. Joel Robichon, you don't see that man cooking, you know, behind the kitchens. And, you know, he has taught hundreds, maybe even thousands of chefs to, you know, take his place when, you know, when he unfortunately passed away last year. But what I'm trying to bring up is going to culinary school is really what you put into it. Did you work in the industry before? Do your research. You know, can you afford to go to school there? Because a lot of these schools like, you know, CIA, it's like forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 to go there. This is without even scholarships or grants or anything like that. And I'm not trying to knock CIA or any of these other schools because, in fact, I took a leisure class at CIA just to see how it was. And you know what? It was done extremely well. You know, I used to teach at, you know, one of the post-secondary education uh, programs that I've mentioned before. And I can see why there was so much money invested into these programs. Because some of the kitchens that I was training these students at are like state-of-the-art, like really well-maintained, you know, probably some of the best things I've seen in there. So now, on the flip side of if culinary school is worth it, 
there's three chefs I can tell you that told me that it wasn't worth it or they didn't really need to go. Obviously, number one was Chef Lazone with Brennan's. Number two was Chef Susan Spicer out of New Orleans, Louisiana. She has three great restaurants. I worked for her for about a month during Jazz Fest season. And, you know, I worked at Bayona. I ate at Mundo many times, uh, which is more of like a bistro neighborhood thing. And then Rosedale, which is like in between. It was a really nice place. I've never been there before, but the food is basically New Orleans cuisine. I mean, that's, that's the best way how to even really explain it. And she apprenticed basically under a male dominated kitchen back in the 70s, you know, late 60s, early 70s. And, you know, at that time, women wasn't really allowed, I should say, to be a part of a professional kitchen. It's, it's, it's so weird these days. And then the third person who I still talk to still to this day, and he's been a huge um, part of my building of becoming a great chef and teacher has been Troy Dino. He did go to culinary school, but he didn't finish because he got a you know, better job offer. Plus, he felt like he learned a lot of the techniques and a lot of the things in culinary school that has to offer. Because remember, the culinary school teaches a lot of the basics. Keep that in mind, right? Now, there are going to be some advanced techniques, you know, later on in your, in your classes. But, you know, at that time, I think Troy said he only stayed for maybe a year, I think. And, you know, he was making good money at a, at a local restaurant in, in New Orleans. And then, you know, now he's the head chef of, you know, a hotel and, and restaurant in Houston, Texas. And, you know, he's one of those guys that, that when he hired me, he didn't really looked at my resume. He really just want to sit down and talk to me about life. You know, he's asked me, you know, what's the fav you know, the best thing that your mom would make for you? Or what does your mom do? What does your dad do? You know? And uh, it's so crazy because he was literally just trying to get a, uh, a hold of if I was that type of person that would be great, not only in the kitchen, but outside of the kitchen, like as a humanitarian, as a teacher. You know, a person that always wants to give back. And, you know, still to this day, I keep in contact with three of those chefs the best I can. Mostly with Troy because, you know, he's around that same generation as I am. And, you know, he was one of those people that really opened my eyes to being more creative and becoming a better leader. Because he says, look, you got to make your cooks look good so they can look good for you. That's really what it boils down to, you know. And I think his response to, you know, is culinary school worth it? He probably would say, yeah, if you were really focused on getting that piece of paper or you just want that validation. But for some people, they already learned the skill set. Why they need to relearn it again? And like I said, it's really preference if you want to you know, get that piece of paper, get that recognition, you know, go through the rigor of going to culinary school. And I think the most important thing that I learned from the whole experience was I practically went to school debt free. So those are my three things that I mentioned if culinary school is worth it. On another video, I'll probably talk about a little bit more what typically goes on in a day of a culinary student in culinary school. Thanks for watching this video. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Click down on the subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications for future videos. And I'll see you on the next video.